There's a large number of keyword research tools out there, some of which are paid for, some of which aren't and are completely free. One of the free tools is provided as part of the Google AdWords system. And it's known as the Keyword Planner. Now it's a great tool that's designed primarily to let you set up paid search campaigns. But even if you're not running a paid search campaign, it can give you a great insight in terms of some of the keywords you might want to target. So when I'm on the Keyword Planner page, I'm faced with these four options. Search for new keyword and ad group ideas. Get search volume from a list of keywords I've already got created. Get traffic estimates from a list of keywords. Or multiply keyword list to get new keyword ideas. Now most people, the one that I think is best to start with is this search for new keyword and ad group ideas. So I click this and I present it with the field here. Now I've got an open text field where I can put in lists of my products or things I'm targeting. I could put in a landing page, so I could put in a particular page of my website and it would make suggestions based upon that. Or I can browse through on categories to so say actually I'm in the arts and entertainment, I'm then in comics and graphic novels and it would give me some suggestions of keywords we're going after. That can work quite well but I actually prefer using this open field. So say I'm going to go for, I don't know, men's glasses as my initial phrase. I might also then put in men's sunglasses. And the more suggestion you put in here, the greater information you're giving Google about potentially some of the keywords that might be relevant to your business. You've got the ability to set targeting as well. So I can set to United Kingdom or particular areas. I can also do things like include negative keywords. But at this stage, I'm going to go with the defaults because that's a good place to start. So I hit the Get Ideas button, which then takes me through to this screen. Sometimes it can take a few seconds to load but it's great data that they're giving there. Now by default, it puts you on this ad groups ideas, which is helpful, but for most of us, I think we're best off starting with the individual keywords. So I've clicked the keyword ideas tab. Now as you can see here, you've got a graph showing the general market trend of the keywords in the suggestions. So it's given us a sense of when those particular phrases are most popular in the year. Now for those two specific phrases that I suggested, it gives me their average number of monthly search volumes and if I hover over the question mark, it defines that number. The number of the level of competition, where it's high, medium or low, a suggested bid, which is an idea of if you were buying that from a pay-per-click perspective, how much would you need to spend? And if I've got a campaign budget set up, it would show me potentially what share of the market I would get with that campaign. Now with all of these, we've got the blue button here when I hover over that allows them to add to our plan. Now if I click those, it starts to save the keywords that I've suggested. Now if I'm setting up an AdWords campaign, that's fantastic, that'll go straight into my AdWords account. If I'm running a paid search campaign, or potentially using this tool to set up a paid search campaign um, on Bing, so if I'm doing an SEO campaign, or using the tool for another network, I can export these at any point in time as a Excel file or a .csv file, which is a file that you can open within Excel or whichever um, spreadsheet software you use. Now that's quite helpful. I've put in the two keywords that I had clearly identified that were relevant for my business. What's helpful for me is then when I delve down below this, I start to get a sense of other keywords that I could target. So here we've got men's designer sunglasses, which on an average month gets a thousand searches, has high competition, and would cost 80 pence a click. If that's relevant to my business, I can also add it to my plan. Now what I'm trying to do here is go through this process and start to try and find words or phrases that are currently I'm not bidding on on paid search, or I'm not including or writing about on my website from a natural search perspective. And there will be ones that appear. So perhaps sale, Actually, maybe I'm talking about a clearance offers on my website. Maybe I don't describe it as a sale. So maybe I'd want to then change from calling it discount to sales. Or maybe there's things here as well where men's fashion glasses. Well, maybe it's not huge volume there, but it might well be that it's worth targeting. Do I describe, do I mention the word fashion on my page? Maybe not. And what you're doing here is you're going through this list to try and find potential ideas for new content potential ideas for editing your existing content, both of those will cover you from an SEO perspective. And then if it's a paid search campaign, it could be about keywords that I've not considered. Now this can be a lengthy process. If you've got tens of thousands of products, it can take some time. But keyword research is vitally important. 
If you're able to understand your users, you're able to better reflect what they're looking